Kitsu Neely, have you ever heard of the Pomodoro technique? Doesn't that have to do with like tomatoes or something? Kinda, that's what we're talking about today on The Journey. So to actually answer your question, Neely, the Pomodoro Technique is a time management method that was created by Francesco Cirillo. So when do the tomatoes come into play? So Pomodoro is actually the Italian word for tomato. So when Cirillo was a university student, he used to have a tomato-shaped timer, and he would use that timer in short intervals so that he would be more productive. And typically these intervals are broken into 25-minute segments called Pomodoros. So how can I really use this in my day-to-day -to, -day to be more productive? So choose a task that you need to accomplish, set that timer for 25 minutes, mm -hmm. and then use that 25 minutes to really focus, get that task done, and when the timer goes off, take a five minute break. Only five minutes? That's it. Okay. However, after four Pomodoros in a row, take a longer break, so about 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, or really however long it takes for you to recharge. If you're good after 10 minutes, great. If you need the full 30, that's okay too. But we all know distractions are a major part of life. Yeah. So if you do get distracted by a coworker or yourself, your phone, you have to end the Pomodoro there. So there are a lot of ways you can start doing this. For instance, you could just use the timer on your phone, but Cirillo, he said he liked to actually use that tomato timer because winding it up actually confirmed your dedication to the work. So I'm a little bummed that there weren't any actual tomatoes in this episode, but I do feel like I'm gonna be a lot more productive with this. Let us know if you're gonna try this technique in the comments below. And go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be reminded whenever we've posted a video. This is The Journey, see you next time.